the history of Kainoset. Thank you, welcome to the video. And today you guys are gonna learn about it a little bit more and understand where it came from and why it's here. Now, Kainoset, the history. First, heavily investigated in clinical medicine during 1950. Now, it was under extreme circumstances like that they were deliberately creating anabolic steroids and finding routes and alternatives to guide the evolution and transformation of everything in history. So that include making medicine, new drugs, new steroids, but kind of selling was here to stay. Now, soon it was made available after 1950, developed into a prescription drug and has been sold ever since. Still alive, not like Winstrel or Stan also that died, unfortunately, but it's still around some other places. Now, it was banned years later. Yup, what? Well, any of you guys thought that this was banned? <laughs> no, no, no. Now, Kainoselin is, is sold in many parts of the world, internationally, and in over 36 countries. It's very common in the me medical field to treat orthostatic hypotension. Now, which is a sudden drop in blood pressure upon standing up where your heart just palpitations just stops and stops till you die. But if this wasn't created, then there would be no way that we could today in the medical field save people's lives. Why? Because it has adenosina. Now, Many brands have been made, most notable in Italy, Belgium, Switzerland, France, Indonesia, Spain, and other parts of the world. That's probably why you guys haven't heard about it. Now, many medications contain heptaminoid, which is one of the main compounds in it. And it has been commerced for decades. But for athletes, it's been the secret to their cycles, the difference in bodybuilding, the difference to win a competition, even at their second look within the IFBB Pro League, and is still used secretly for that purpose. Now, it's used today in veterinary medicine. Yep, it's legal there. Still amazing results and preparation for you bodybuilder with zero side effects and it fade out in 1990. Now, why did it fade out in 1990? Because bodybuilders were using it and since they were using it, they wanted to mitigate who had it, who was getting it because it was actually getting people better and they would cheat in the competition and they would cheat in, in a lot of other places to get real good results and always win overall, no matter what, even with horses. Now, in 2021, under our research, we discovered with many athletes and scientists, still, there is a big fear and that that year, this year, and today with the legal terms of anabolic compounds in general. And you guys know, if you don't get it prescribed, it's illegal. And this was found to be major sustainable for you know, a lot of coaches and a lot of bodybuilders because there's no risk in law because it's a legal steroid and you could buy it really easy. And you won't get in trouble. Now, in the year 2000, the drug was brought to America. Yes, America. 
liberty and freedom. Now, athletes, until today, it's unscheduled. So it's an unscheduled drug, widely available in the U.S. continental and every region of the United States of America, including Hawaii and Alaska and Puerto Rico. Now, how is kinesalin supplied? You guys want to know? I'm going to tell you. It's supplied in a 100 ml or 100 grams bottle, multi-dose vial for injection. The ingredients inside this vial are eptaminol, disodic adenosine, monophosphate, vitamin B12, selenium, sodium selenite, magnesium aspartite, potassium aspartite. Now, the structure of this compound is pretty amazing. It's a amino alcohol sequence with six aminos. It has two methyl heptans right here in this side, and it has two coming from the top, O, O, L's. Wow, I love this. Now, how is kinocellin administered? Well, it's easily administered. First off, remember, even though it's amazing for bodybuilding, it's not approved yet for humans, just like Trenbolone or Revalor. It's not approved yet, but you get amazing results and bodybuilders use it. And that's the difference. Now, a effective dose or dosage for physique of performance enhancing purposes starts at one gram. So that's one ml, one ml. Weekly, for every 25 pounds of body weight. So that means if you're 200 pounds, or a bodybuilder that's 200 pounds, you will use around eight grams, weekly. Weekly, <laughs> weekly. Remember that, but this is only due to high injection volume. So, a lot of people don't like to pin every day. I do, I don't care. I do it, I like it, it doesn't hurt. You could find ways, mitigate a lot of ways, a lot of pin spots, and that's when you know that you're really deep in bodybuilding. I do, I pin from two, three to four every day when I'm in a cycle. Some cycles I don't, some cycles I do, but when I'm on it, I get I, it's way more productive with the peptides and with the compounds. And you get more benefits. You get way shredder, uh, way more shredded, way cutter. Like the cuts are just it's, it's crazy. The muscle growth, I mean, shoulder wise, everywhere. Where do you pin it? In the glute. I pin it in my glute. You could pin it in your quad. You could put half a ml in a delt. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't burn. You just feel like that area is just, you could go for hours and, and not, not even, no effect, like it, just crazy. The way that you work out, you're like, I'm reaching PRs every day. Crazy, I love it. And um, a effective dosage for physique performance, so yeah. That would be two to four. Now, eight grams a week is the most that you know they, they were recommending. But this is only due to the high injection volume, so remember that. But they inject minimum two grams three times a week for amazing results in every way, shape, and form in a cycle. Now, a single 100 milligram vial will last you 16 weeks if you do it this way. It will. And the most awesome part is that from 8 to 10 mLs per week, you can still get away with, with no side effects. What I do personally, and, and for cutting an injectable, I, I'll do 2 mLs up to 3 every day. And then it, it's just more productive for me. And I've seen no, no side effects, just so many health benefits even when I go to get my blood test results they're like 
dude, what what are you taking? Like, what are your vitamins? Because I've never seen blood levels this stable. My God, your cholesterol level is, is so amazing. Your bad cholesterol is just, wow, I've never seen this before in my life. I'm like, wow, thank you so much. <laughs> it's freaking crazy, right? I love it. <laughs> so, it increases um, your noradrenaline. And I referred to my first, um, referred to the first video, and I explained what that was. Now, it's a stimulant <clears throat> and an epic level. It's a stimulant and an epic level. And I love it to death. Like, now, since it's a potent stimulant, I'm going to talk about my experience with it because it's just crazy. It's just crazy. The level of concentration, like I said, was just off the charts. The way that you were inducing muscle growth the stimulation that the way that you would go into the workout the routines the when you were you know making your food when you were just basically doing anything at all it was just incredible because the time under tension the control the contraction waves i mean the mind muscle connection was just so freaking powerful like nothing in life like I probably could take 10 coffee cups and four scoops of any pre-workout and six by hours. And this just made it feel so much more better, like so much more intense. So I'm telling you guys, this, what I found out was incredible. It's amazing. Now, it's been banned it was banned for humans in 1990 but then yeah, that just got demolished and they just yeah it's not anymore i guess but what i know is that it's not intended for human use it's used for veterinary purposes remember that now it was banned also for horse riding even though blood testing happens it will not show in the results which is amazing and no panel that you're on this type of steroid kinocelin or adenosine or ATP now good point now it's up to you to use it or not I recommend don't break the law don't do steroids don't do anything bad Just stay focus and just do bodybuilding but critical thinking and logic reason now under my research it's just like l-carnitine side effect wise side effect wise with only causing insomnia if you took too much that means if you take too much l-carnitine you just have insomnia and you can't sleep but if not, you're good to go. If you have Ambien, you could mitigate it and just go back to sleep or melatonin, you're, you're good to go, yeah. Melatonina. Now, for blood pressure, make sure if you're doing high dose, you have a high blood pressure medication. If you're that guy that doesn't like to do cardio and you're always having a high blood pressure, you need to have that handy if you're using this. You could still use it and get away with no side effects, but you're probably going to go overboard like I do and use a little bit more because you like to see if there's better results, which there is. Um, have that in handy and then mitigate that side effect and then you're good to go. But don't go over four grams a day. Why? Now, um, so that's, that's that with the blood pressure. Now, even though I did not experience any high blood pressure going high dose, because it's a vasodilatator, right? Vasodilatador. The best way to know before you try it is take a Viagra. If you take a Viagra and nothing happened, then you're good to go on to the higher doses, 
through this compound. It's really highly inexpensive. Now, you're most likely to get away with it. And my recommendation is always gonna be two grams with anybody. Because you're free to do whatever you want. You're gonna find out what's good, what's not. But if you try it, think. <laughs> now, it is perfect because it has zero side effects. Zero side effects, that's amazing, right? Now, just benefits. So this is a legal compound that has zero side effects and only has benefits. Crazy. Like everything I do. I start low and then I go up. You guys are understanding why I'm saying this, right? I know you do. Now, it sells cheap for from 75 bucks to a hundred dollars a vial a bottle now this injectable vial is really safe and it it's so safe because it just has so many benefits and no sides that you could see it the first time you paint you're gonna be it's unbelievable you're gonna be like wow why was this always a secret from us and it is is not a controlled substance so it's basically not illegal to purchase now it's a legal steroid it's a legal steroid now it's easy to obtain all you need to do is type it and you'll find it that easy now I just want to tell you guys, it cannot be counterfeit. Just like tests. You cannot counterfeit testosterone because it's so cheap. So cheap to make. And this compound is so cheap to make that you're not going to find any counterfeit. So every time you're getting it, you're getting it pure, real, and you're going to get really good results from it. And I just wanted to tell you guys, that is my take on the history of kind of selling I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm gonna cut it and let it let it out you know and here with this and just think when you're doing your cycles how much more it could benefit you go to the other video I made and please drop a comment below subscribe to the channel hit that bell let me know what you want for the next protocol I will cover it or if you want another bodybuilding secret I will reveal it I got a couple I got a big list and I am ready to deliver to you guys because I know that's what you guys want to hear but if you're doing a cycle and you got you know question and you want the best protocol I do I make it I'm a professional I'm a real coach and I'm a, I'll, I'll deliver it for you guys so hit that comment the bell, the subscribe, whatever you want. Thank you so much. Thank you for staying all the way to the end. And remember, stay swole and strong, my friends of freedom and liberty, pioneers of human evolution.